What's up everyone, I am Jason C and welcome to the Mash and Jerome Whiskey Room and today we are talking about an upcoming bourbon brand called Penelope. Now Penelope is releasing four grain mash bill bourbons with a lot of transparency and the goal to unite whiskey aficionados with novice bourbon drinkers. Let's meet Penelope Bourbon today on the Mash and Drum. Penelope Bourbon was founded by childhood friends Mike Palladini and Danny Polisi. They wanted to go into business together because of their different tastes in whiskey, and they wanted to craft a bourbon that all whiskey drinkers, whether seasoned or not, could enjoy and share through one bottle. Just two guys from Jersey trying to create a new whiskey brand. So Penelope Bourbon, like a lot of startup distillate, is distilled in Indiana at MGP, and then it's bottled in Louisville, Kentucky. May not sound too unique yet, but Mike and Danny decided to age the wheat and rye grain mashes separately from the corn and barley mash, so they could eventually blend and create an approachable and delicious four grain bourbon for everyone to enjoy. What's cool is both guys found out in 2018 that their wives were expecting. Uh, Mike and his wife, Carrie, always knew that if they had a girl, her name would be Penelope. Once they both found out they were having a girl, a light bulb went off. Mike and Carrie decided they wanted to bring together two things they both love so dearly. Their soon-to-be baby girl Penelope, for whom the bourbon is named after, and of course, their Penelope bourbon whiskey. So today their lineup currently consists of their flagship 80 proof batch and their batch five barrel strength release coming in at 116 proof. They also have a rosé cask finish and they also have some private select picks starting to hit the market as well. With today's bourbon market still booming and new brands entering the market, it seems every week, I think it's smart to enter the market with offerings geared towards the new and seasoned bourbon drinker. Just kind of opens you up to both audiences. Penelope is doing this with their standard four grain offering, which I think was a good idea. Not only can they test their market, but also you know, pivot based on the reaction of consumers to their 80 proof and barrel proof offerings. So let's start with the 80 proofer and see what we get. So one of the good things about Penelope is transparency, which I think is always a good thing for new bourbon distilleries and blenders, especially so, you know, us consumers know exactly what's going in the bottle. This is a four grain bourbon, which is a blend of three bourbon mash bills sourced from MGP, comprised of corn, wheat, rye, and malt, aged two to three years, nacho filtered, number four barrel char, 80 proof, and retails for about 40 bucks. So let's go to the nose. So you definitely smell the youth on here. There's a lot of corn sweetness going on. A lot of bright apple notes. This is like fresh cut Granny Smith apple. There's some light oak there, very light though. It's got an herbal fruity quality to it as well. It's a little bit more along the lines of, you know, you definitely get some citrus in there, a little orange spice, but it's kind of like an apple pear orange mix, you know, to be honest here. It's what you would expect with an 80 proofer, but so far nothing off-putting. Sometimes a younger, you know, bourbon or a younger blend may have some of those really off-putting, you know, youthful notes to it. This does not have that. It's just pretty light, it's pretty fruity, got an herbal quality, it has a nice balance. Not gonna blow you away, obviously. Let's go for taste, here we go. Yeah, sweet corn, apple, a little bit more of a peach flavor I'm getting there too, a little bit peachy. It actually has a pretty decent mouthfeel. I, I don't know if I mentioned, I don't remember. It's, uh, this is non-chill filtered as well. So it's a nice non-chill filtered 80 proofer. Let's go for another sip. And it's very sweet. It's very fruity, very sweet, very approachable. It actually has a nice little finish on the back end for, for an 80 proofer. A little bit herbal, a little rye spice there. I think the fruit and the apple and the pear are definitely coming through from that wheat, that wheat grain. The corn sweetness is definitely prevalent throughout. And even the finish, the finish is very sweet. You get a little bit more caramel apple on the back end as well. Now, when you think about four grains, there's not really that many on the market. You have Hudson four grain, uh, you have AD Laws uh, out of uh, Colorado that's making a four grain as well. Uh, the, the ever coveted E.H. Taylor four grain, which is obviously extremely hard to come by and very expensive nowadays uh, based on the rarity that it is. 
Um, Revival has a nice four grain that, that's out. So there's a bunch of craft distilleries that are doing four grains, uh, but it's kind of nice to see it, you know, kind of put into an 80 proof, a very nice delicate type of flavor profile that we're seeing here. One last sip. You know, this bourbon's pretty good. I'm not gonna, you know, not, I'm not gonna, you know, tell everyone to run out and get it. It is an 80 proof bourbon. I think seasoned enthusiasts would find this a little bit young and maybe a little bit boring. But at the same time, I think this is a great bourbon to get new bourbon drinkers into bourbon or just whiskey in general. I think the flavors, the balance that is there, it's, it's very well blended. It's got some sweet, it's got some spice, there's some fruit notes there, little caramel sweetness on the back end, that really nice apple note that you get too. Um, again, it's not overly complex at all, but I think for what it is and for an 80 proofer being non-chill filtered, I think it's got a lot of potential to become a great first option for anyone getting into bourbon or whiskey. Okay, let's get into the barrel strength because this is the one that, you know, most of you guys watching will probably be interested in. So let's pour this one. Now, this is the same deal as the 80 proofer. Wow, much darker in color, of course. Uh, so this is batch five in particular. It's blended again from those three mash bills. This is aged three to four years, containing those four grains again, uncut, unfiltered, bottled at 116 proof, retails for about 65 bucks. All right, let's go to the nose here. So that corn sweetness is there, but there, there's, there's two newer notes in here that I wasn't picking up in this one. And that was, this one, it was a more of an overall citrus note. This is very definite orange. Orange, and it's like smoked orange. You get a little bit of a smoky, like orange peel type aspect in here. That apple note is still there. It's still very corn forward. You still got that corn sweetness. Yeah, the, the rye grain is a little bit more prevalent on this one as well. But those fruit notes are still kind of hovering over the apple. But that smoked orange note is probably my favorite so far in the uh, on the so far in the nose, I should say. So let's go for a sip. Oh wow, big difference. The caramel and vanilla on here is just way more amped up. I mean, it was light on the 80 proofer, and there was some little you know you had the the apple and the peach and those nuances in there. This thing really comes through with a lot more caramel, a lot more vanilla. The little smokiness and the citrus is right on the very back end. Very balanced. Again, nothing off-putting for something so, uh, you know, only three to four years old. Um, again, you're looking for some off-putting notes, but I'm really not getting them here. Let's go for another sip. Yeah, this is very sweet and easy. For a barrel-proof bourbon, this is very sweet, very easy. The caramel, the apple, the citrus, the smokiness, all coming together. Balance, nothing off-putting. Can I say that's it's a it's a really nice ba barrel-proof bourbon. I mean, it even it drinks easy, which is a little bit scary. How easy this is drinking already. It's I think it's really blended beautifully. You have a nice balance to it. Now you might be thinking, oh, I could get you know I could probably get Elijah Craig barrel-proof for sixty-five, uh, which is a twelve-year-old bourbon, non-chill filtered, and all that. And I get that. Um, that just has a very specific flavor profile. Now, when we're talking about what's in this bottle, you're looking at more lighter, sweeter, um, and you know, a little bit softer of a flavor profile overall. Now, this does come through with some really nice flavors compared to the 80 proofer, but they're still not as in your face as like an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof or a Rare Breed or anything that you've tried at you know a full proof. Let's go for one more sip here. Yeah. It drinks dangerously easy. It starts to get a little bit more candy the more you sip on it. The apple, the smoke, the citrus, the caramel punch and the vanilla punch, both on the front and the back end of this, really stick out. Get a little bit of a mintiness on the back end. I think for anyone that wants to try a, I've had some four grains that I were, was not crazy about. This, this four grain right here, I could definitely see myself trying and, and going to again. Like I said, it's very easy to sip, even at 116 proof. It's very well blended. You're not getting much like off-putting notes on here at all, if any. It's all fruit, it's all sweet, it's all caramel. If you have, if you guys like a sweet tooth and you don't want too much of an alcohol punch, I think you'll like both of these, I think, especially the Penelope for beginning bourbon drinkers or whiskey drinkers. This is a really good entry because it's so sweet and just really nice and balanced and fruity and it's got everything you would want for a first whiskey drinker to have. 
And then you have the Penelope, the barrel strength for I think the more seasoned veterans <laughs> like uh, myself and like you watching who want something that's a little bit more uh, intense in flavor and you know, bring some better balance, especially for the price. And especially from a four grain, that's probably a lot more attainable than some of the other four grains on the market. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this review for Penelope Bourbon. Hope you enjoyed it. I, could, I know I got a few questions about, you know, testing these out. So I'm glad I got to taste these with you. Again, if you're a beginning whiskey drinker or trying to get someone into whiskey or bourbon, you know, this is actually a really good option. Again, it's 40 bucks, but I think as a four grain and for an 80 proofer being non-chill filtered, it, it really provides some really nice balance and flavor. Now for the whiskey aficionados out there, go for the barrel strength. You'll definitely love this a lot more than this one right here. The, uh, the, the barrel strength, I think, just brings a lot more sweetness, a lot more intensity and flavor overall. And it's a little bit dangerously easy to sip. So with that, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button if you haven't yet. Find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had these two, what you think about it. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers, and I'm gonna have more of this barrel strength. This thing's damn good. Cheers, everybody.